Hey, uh, Corky here. I uh, wanted to tell a couple of Kansas stories. I uh, was listening to the band Kansas, and it reminded me of a couple of good stories when I was traveling out west. I did this between the years of 2006 through 2019, something like that. But I spent quite a bit of time in Kansas, one of which I played at a a, a flea market um, on the White Cloud Reservation and uh, ministered in the church there, uh, White Cloud, Kansas. Well, since I was in the area, uh, I had heard that the band Kansas was gonna be performing in Lawrence, Kansas, uh, at the anniversary of the University of Kansas. And so I got a ticket and went. And it was a great concert. A lot of local Kansas fans were there sitting around me and they said it was the best they'd ever heard them. And then, of course, uh, Carrie Livgren and Robbie uh, Steinhardt walked out, which made it extra special. And it was a fantastic concert. And while I was in the area, I decided that I would check out uh, the Kansas Band House in Topeka, where they wrote so many of their songs and where they um, practiced. Uh, just a little old shotgun house in a neighborhood in Topeka, Kansas. And I found the house being rented by someone else and I didn't disturb them to try to go in it's not a, you know, official uh, museum or anything. But I did notice that there was a music store about a block away from the Kansas Band House, and I thought I would go in there and ask them about, you know, the house and so forth. So I went into this little music store, and it was an old music store, so it's probably where uh, the band, you know, got a lot of stuff, supplies and things. And so... Um, I walked in, the woman at the cash register greeted me and asked, could she help me? And I said, well, since you're so close to the Kansas band house, I wonder if you could give me some information about that. And while I was talking, she was Googling uh, the Kansas band house, which is shown and featured in a documentary film called Miracles Out of Nowhere. And she looked at it and she said, so this band is some kind of famous group? And I was like, well, yeah, uh, probably the most famous thing to come out of Kansas other than wheat. And so she was still Googling about that time the owner walked in and he um, said, what's going on here today? And she told him, you know, that, uh, I was inquiring about the Kansas band house. He said, is this some kind of popular group? And I was like, mm. And so it was kind of unbelievable. They'd never even heard of the band and their, their music store was a block away from where most of these famous songs are written. Um, so, you know, that's, that was an experience I had in Kansas, which is kind of unbelievable. Um, when I played the flea market in White Cloud, uh, the past local pastor had brought me in, and they got me a um, an awning, you know, to sit under, and asked me to play for two eight-hour days uh, guitar. So I took my acoustic and my small amplifier that I would amplify my acoustic with, and um, you know, parked under this awning, and for two days, eight hours each day. You know, I played instrumental guitar. And I did not sing or even say a word in the microphone for two solid days. I just did instrumental songs. I did a lot of Mississippi John Hurt. I did a lot off my gospel guitar album. I did a lot of acoustic blues. I did Beatles, uh, James Taylor, a lot of instrumentals that I had done in the restaurant in South Dakota when I was... Um, playing there a year on Friday nights. 
And so uh, I thought it was kind of interesting because at the end of the second day, it was a very beautiful setting because the street that the flea market was on went right down into the river there. And it was a riverfront town. Uh, but at the end of the second day, this couple came up and opened up their checkbook on my table. And, uh, you know, because I have my CDs there and everything. And asked me, what ministry do I make this check out to? And I was like, how did you know I'm a ministry? Uh, and they said, we've been hearing you for two days. We know you're some kind of a Christian. So I thought that was pretty nice a pretty good compliment that people were able to pick up just from the instrumental guitar music, uh, something like that. But anyway, I had a good time in Kansas and, and, uh, also, uh, not just the churches, but I got to go to the Eisenhower, uh, museum and home and graveside and got to see a lot of Hitler stuff, which was pretty awesome. Uh, in there and so it was great experiences in Kansas and it's really 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 sprawling flat you see a grain elevator and uh, then it says the town is going to be 20 miles away you can actually see grain elevators that far and know you're headed toward the town but anyway just some Kansas stories have a good one